how does a python code actually get executed what is the under the hood process which makes your python program run and if you're somebody who uses visual studio code as i've advised in my course then this is important for you because this is where you will actually understand that what happens when you press this run icon over here now the first thing which you need to observe over here is that i have created this program in front of you if you watched my last video on this i would have taken you through this entire program step by step it's a very simple program to understand and to code now the first thing which you need to observe here is that on your window somewhere over here you can see this thing which is python 3.9.6 what exactly is this here what it is showing you is that which is the interpreter which you are using which version of the python interpreter you are using right now so if i would go here i can see all the various options of the interpreters which we have and since in my earlier videos i had especially downloaded the 3.9 version of the interpreter that is the one which is being used over here now this is the interpreter which is making this code execute so what happens when you click this what exactly happens so suppose if i run this code over here you will observe that this command has been executed and once this statement this command has been executed then we will finally have the output which we are expecting now what you'll see is that this statement which we have over here is not a python statement it is in fact a windows statement it basically has the path of two or three files in your windows laptop so now what we need to understand is that what exactly are these file extensions all about now if you see this first file this file is basically the address of where your python interpreter has been saved so the first thing which happens when you run this is that this calls your python interpreter and from there what you will see here is that this is then being sent in quotes this is basically the address of where this code file where this first program.py has been stored which means what which means that while executing the program first the interpreter is being called and after the interpreter has been called then the file which you want to execute will be passed on to the interpreter and that file will get executed and these all of these statements would sequentially get executed for you to have this final output now one thing which you need to clearly understand is that if suppose you aren't able to see this play button over here then probably you have not installed the python extension which i had asked you to install from here so if you cannot see that option over there i would want you to go over here in extensions and search for python and make sure that you have installed it in my case i have installed it hence i can see this over here now one more thing which you need to know is that you can execute this entire file in another way instead of executing it from here one more thing which you can do is that you can execute it directly from this terminal for that all you have to do is that you need to come over here and write py minus 3.9 which is the version of your interpreter and in front of this you need to write the name of the file which you want to execute which is first program dot py which is the same name which you can see up here and now once you press enter on this you will still get the same output from the program which you have created up there so from there i hope that you have some understanding of what exactly is happening when you press this and how exactly does the python code actually get executed i'll see you in the next video of this course wherein i'll be sharing with you some more things so that you can progress further in your journey to learn python thanks a lot